Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen. New moms are going to get some new tools to beat their postpartum depression. Our guest is Dr. Shoshana Bennett. Uh, She is based in Southern California, but she talks to women throughout the world. Dr. Sosh is how she is uh, 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 called, and we will call her that as well. Welcome to Late Night Health, Dr. Sosh. Thanks so much for the invitation, Mark. When a woman has postpartum depression, and and let's talk about what that is. They ha- my understanding is you have a baby and you've been working up to this for nine months plus getting ready, you know, making love to have the baby. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now of course, baby- that part has nothing to do with being pregnant, has nothing to do with delivery, has nothing to do with being a parent. You know, it all feels like separate. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, right. But so so you, ha- you have the baby. Yes. And you, you, I guess you, you get depressed. What causes that, to fir- first of all? We mainly consider postpartum depression to be a biochemical uh, uh, cause. I mean, we... It, it, there are certainly other factors. We call them psychosocial factors that feed in. But uh, truly, uh, mainly this is due to the reproductive hormones shifting and, and changing brain chemistry. This is a brain disorder. It's very, very real. Uh, and uh, what's wonderful is it can be often prevented or at least minimized. And there's great treatment out there. So this is nothing to be worried about. It's just very good to be um, on the lookout for it so you know what to do if it should hit. Is it treated by therapy or by drugs or a combination? You know, I, I'm of the belief, and my colleagues would agree, that whenever a medication, a psychotropic medication, you know, something for a psychiatric illness, um, is prescribed, you should also have a prescription to a psychologist or a marriage and family therapist who really knows what they're doing. It's very, very important to work with a healthcare practitioner who has the proper training. This is a specialty. It's not good enough to settle for somebody in your insurance just because that therapist happens to be covered. Uh, Very important to get the specialized help uh, uh, so that you can get the right kind of care and uh, just go on with your with your happy life now often the women who call me and i've worked with over 20,000 women at this point from all over the world through webinars and one-on-one and support groups and all kinds of things um i have yet to see somebody who doesn't recover that's number one uh but you know there's no cookie cutter approach here mark so uh for every woman who calls she receives an individual assessment because we're all different. I mean, we have different circumstances in our life, different different pressures on us, different different support. You know, uh, so um, she will receive not only that basic core plan of action, but whatever else she needs. If she needs to see an MD, I will suggest that she she does that for a prescription. But there are also other um, uh, alternative treatments out there. So. It depends on what she wants to do, what's working with her chemistry. It depends on a lot of factors. Uh, Dr. Sosha is also the executive producer for a new documentary, Dark Side of the Full Moon. And can you tell us about this? Because you've worked with so many women over the years, and you work with people virtually uh, using Skype or uh, FaceTime, uh, some kind of technolo- right. video Webcam. technology, webcams, yes. right? Yes, yes, I, I, you're, you're right. I do, and I was so. Uh, thank you for bringing up the film. I'm, I'm really quite proud of this film. It is the very first documentary uh, that exposes the barriers for treatment for women in this country when they go through a postpartum depression or a related disorder. So uh, there are some pretty shocking stories depicted. I will say, and very moving stories depicted. So anyone can go to darksideofthefullmoon.com. It's all spelled out. They can see the trailer to the film, also see where it's playing throughout the country. Uh, but it's, it's important, and it's more than just a film. It's really helped to propel uh, our, our field forward, and that's what I'm, I'm really so happy about. And, Mark, I also want to mention there's a lot that a, a woman can do during pregnancy, even before uh, the baby comes, to help... Um, uh, minimize any kind of um, uh, you know mental health issues such as postpartum depression. I'd be happy to to let your listeners know some of the easy steps they can take. Right, I want to talk about those. Before I do that, before we do that though, what about the male support in in a pregnancy? If a woman 
is is suffering from postpartum, what can the the spouse, the partner do? You know, good partner support can make a huge difference, and the opposite is also true. Poor partner support can slow down recovery, and uh, so they are very, very important. Uh, other loved ones are as well, of course, but, but the partner can make a big, big difference. The partner should, should approach the mom who is suffering and say, sweetie, you're not yourself, and this is not your fault, and this can happen to the, to the best of mommies, so don't feel badly about this. I heard that one in seven new mothers, you know, go through something more, more severe than the, than the baby blues. And this is not an inadequacy. It's not a, you know, again, you, di- you didn't cause this, and you deserve to be happy. Let's find you the right help so that you can feel like yourself again. You know, and, and saying that I'm going to be with you, uh, you know, we're, we're, we are going to get through this together until uh, you're 100%. I mean, that can, that is... I can understand that. That last part that you just said, if you start with that, yes. I think my wife would resonate with that not that we're having kids again Mm -hmm. but if we you know we are going to get through this together that's it Uh, so we can make a big difference because she feels you know i went through this twice i was in two suicidal depressions and if this can happen to me it can happen to anyone i'm usually a very even keeled you know let things roll off my back happy person and uh so nobody is immune and yes it's very important you know we feel so alone even though intellectually we know we're not ourselves, you know, we, we're not by ourselves, we're not the only ones suffering on the planet, right? But we feel depression, especially postpartum depression, when there's an infant there, you know, also needing us, and we feel that we don't have what it takes to, to I mean, there can be such tremendous shame, and we feel like we're just in a, in a box, you know, with, with, no one can reach us. So hearing the we, we will get through this together, you're absolutely right. It can make an enormous difference in the, uh, in her in her well-being well when i when we were pregnant i said we were pregnant yeah i heard that (laughs) right and yeah and i gained i i have still got the pregnancy weight (laughs) over 30 years later (laughs) she does not she she lost it all Uh, our guest is dr uh, sosh dr soshana bennett uh uh, clinical psychologist and we're talking about tools for new moms to be postpartum depression do you have children yourself oh that's why i do this work i was a special education teacher until i was teaching at the community colleges in the san francisco bay area and then i had a child and i lost myself so yes i have two children uh went through two very severe postpartum depressions and the reason why i went through it again is because once you have one postpartum depression you are very high risk to do it again unless, and here's the big unless, you have a good wellness strategy in place. So I'm a big one for prevention. There's so much we can do uh, to to minimize the the occurrence again. So you bet, I I went through it twice, and it was really... Uh, uh, based on my personal experience that I started postpartum support, uh, postpartum assistance for mothers and went on to be president of California's organization and then uh, the international organization, Postpartum Support International. And uh, um, that's, that's how I got launched. Gotcha. Uh, we're very big on supplements here at Late Night Health, and uh, a lot of doctors, MDs, are against taking supplements other than special prenatal uh, supplements. Um, for uh, during pregnancy, uh, you recommend omega three fatty acids. Oh, you bet I do. I mean, you know, women are. T- I'm with you. I-, I believe the right supplements can make the difference between depression and no depression. I mean, it's it's extremely important. Uh, we're told about folic acid when we're pregnant. You know, that's in the prenatal. We're 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 told about the importance of D3 and calcium and 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 some other uh, supplements or, or foods we should eat. But you know, women were actually downright scared of taking or of eating fish right during pregnancy. Right. This whole mercury thing going on. So yeah, you have to take something very pure. And I'm a big believer in Nordic Naturals. It's the only one I put in my body. It just happens to be the best. Omega-3. And there's a prenatal supplement. There's a postnatal, which means postpartum supplement now with D3 in it. So, yeah, you're not only fortifying your own body so you won't get depleted, but the baby during pregnancy is taking from the mom's body. 
and can deplete her even further. And it sets her up for all kinds of physical issues uh, uh, and also setting her up for poor mental health. So, again, the, the take-home message, and I'm not a doctor. I will not tell my clients, you have to take this with this dosage. I can't do that, but I educate them just like I'm doing now. And do you educate the doctors as well? When they're open to it, you bet. And the smartest doctor, do, MDs typically um, uh, do not get any nutrition training, maybe one lecture in all of their years in medical school. Less than 24 Seriously, hours. It's, it's pretty sad. The last time I checked, it's less than 24 hours of uh, class study. That's oh, ridiculous. sometimes much less than that. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. So the smart ones want to know. But I have yet really, uh, these days, uh, the last couple of years, I, I haven't had any MD, you know, when I educate and I say, go ask your doctor, just make sure it's okay. You'll make sure you don't have a huge blo- blood clotting issue or something. Right. Um, you know, I-, I have yet to hear a doctor say, don't take omega-3. As a matter of fact, we now have so much data about how great it is for the children, uh, for the babies in utero, that uh, often the prenatals have a little bit of DHA in there. It's really not enough for the mother, um, you know, to really protect her, but at least you know, it's in there because because of all of the research. So uh, doctors will hopefully, your doctor better give you a thumbs up or you might want to change doctors. That sounds good to me. Our <laughs> guest is Dr. Soch. Uh, she talks to women throughout the world, Belgium, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, did you say? The United Arab Emirates right now. But yes, through, in the last few years, um, I've used the webcam quite a bit because uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, you know, even if the woman is next door, you know, in the next county or something, if she could drive to me, what new mom or pregnant person wants to get a sitter or or or, or take herself in the car, or get on a freeway, find parking? You know, if it, it, it's really just as uh, effective working by phone or webcam, or else I wouldn't be doing it because I will only work in the most effective way. So, and I travel all around. I mean, I, I, one can certainly find me in person if they really want to. I'm certainly not opposed to that. But um, yes, I have worked virtually for for many many years, following all the psychologists' laws and you know, a million things. To, but uh, but yeah, I, I've made that work and do uh, teletherapy very very successfully. Uh, our guest is Doctor so-, uh, so. She's the author of Postpartum Depression for Dummies. That must mean it's for the dad, um, and we are talking with her about this disorder. It's a biochemical problem that happens to what percentage of women after birth? 15%. We're talking one in seven. Postpartum depression is the most common complication of childbirth. Way more uh, uh, common than gestational diabetes. You know, we hear about that all the time. Yeah, absolutely. But it's not generally screened for. We're we're trying hard, and I know the film has helped to move this forward as well. Uh, screening. You know, any practitioner who is working with or in touch with. We're going to take a time out. You and I are going to come back. Great. If you want information, go to Doctor Soch. S-H-O-S-H dot com. And, of course, visit us at LateNightHealth.com. We'll have her picture on our website as well as contact information. All right. Late Night Health continues. More coming up. Don't go away. 